Hello, welcome back to Metal Machine Shop. In this video I'm going to be testing my new inserted tip parting tool which I've eventually got round to buying from Arc Euro Trade. I've been using the old style parting tool for many years now and they're not really very good. They're a lot of hard work, they tend to dig in quite a lot so I've been meaning to buy the inserted tip type for some time and uh, in this video I'm going to see if it was worth the 30 quid I paid for it. So the tool basically comes in these two little plastic boxes this one is the parting off blade holder with an 8mm shank uh, and this one is the uh, part off blade itself with the insert. So let's have a look in here. So this is what you get in the blue box. This is the uh, blade, I think, that's what you call it. So you can see a little inserted tip there. It's about probably 2mm wide. This is the holder. That's the 8mm shank there. Uh, three Allen keys along the top and as you'd expect there's a little Allen key in the box to loosen those off. And the blade is simply inserted like that and you can have as much or as little extension as you like. Just tighten those down, just nip them up, not too tight. This is the sort of parting tool that I've been using to date. Yeah, not brilliant, it tends to get jammed in this slot as I say and causes all kinds of problems. So this is what I'm hoping to replace. So I'm starting to run out of quick change tool post tool holders. Uh, so I'm going to use this one. This is a left hand turning and facing tool. So I'm just going to remove that tool from the holder so I can fit the new parting off tool. So that's how it fits onto the quick change tool post. But what I'm going to have to do before I can use this is to adjust the height so that it's on centre height. And to do that I'm going to use this little chap here from Edge Technology. Uh, effectively what this does is it gets inserted into the chuck. The little ledge there is rested on the tip of the tool and when the bubble is in the centre you know you're on centre height. Well that's not bad, that's the first time I've ever used one of these tools. I've used it dry, normally I'd be using some uh, lubricant for this sort of work, but it's cut straight through there. I had to clear it once to get rid of the chippings, but um, it's cut through right through to the centre height. Very good. Now that's aluminium, I'm going to try it on a piece of steel. Just fitted a piece of steel to the chuck. This is of an unknown grade. I'm just going to reduce the spindle speed slightly for this. I'm not going to bother facing it off this time, I don't think it's really necessary. But I am going to be using some cutting fluid. Uh, and here's the jar of cutting fluid here. So let's have a go and see how it works. So that's the end of my test. I think that was quite successful actually. It chewed through the aluminium as you'd expect with absolutely no problem at all. Uh, equally successful on the steel. Certainly a lot better than the old tool I've been using. So uh, all in all I reckon I would probably recommend one of these. Um, money well spent I think. So there you go. I hope you found that uh, useful. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you did find it useful and um, if you didn't then I guess uh, unlike and unsubscribe. 
Thanks for watching and hopefully see you next time. Bye. Ugh, it's gone cold.